Hello everyone, my name is Will Your Own Camera, my name is, and here we go with my review for Avengers Endgame. And I, for one, am so happy the film came out. I was so glad I went to go see it. It was long, I saw it late, and I got home late, but it was worth it. This was an awesome film. I'm so glad I went to go see it. I'm so glad that the film came out. And I am so happy with how it all went. This is without question one of my favorite films of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I mean, Black Panther is still my favorite film, but this one, ah, it, it, it just tore right through. Ah, this was so fun. This was so exciting. And there's just so much trauma going on with this film that you're pretty much hooked on it from the beginning, middle, and end. You do not want to leave your seat. I only left once, but that was good. Uh, at, a, at a slow moment in the film, which was fine. And I was happy with how well they were able to keep the people hooked on this film. Uh, okay, so the story for this, well, without spoiling too much for you guys, I'm not going to spoil a lot for you guys. It's just little small minor spoilers. Uh, but the story for this film takes place after Infinity War, where we see our heroes pretty much in a slump. I mean, they never got their asses kicked the way they did. They they lost the big fight. They they lost to Thanos, and that was something we didn't expect from Infinity War, and it happened, and it pretty much left everyone shocked, and these heroes are trying to find a way to come back from that. They're trying to find a way to reverse everything to make things better, and that's what I love about this film is the fact it's able to keep you hooked from the beginning to where everything's just pretty much bad for our heroes, and they're trying to keep hope to the middle where they're trying to reverse everything, trying to make things better, to the finale where we have this this great epic fi uh, finale. So I am glad they're able to do that. I'm glad they're able to, you know, able to do the, to, to tell that story and also keep with some good, they're able to give us some good humor. They're able to give us some lighthearted moments and they're able to, to balance it all out. And that's, that's great. This is what we needed from this film. We need, what I love about it is the drama. The lightheartedness, the, the jokes in this, all of it works perfectly well, and the action scenes go along with this as well. Now, of course, we get to the action scenes later on, but that's not really what I focused a lot on this film. It's just how well they're able to tell the story about how our heroes are trying to overcome these odds because they never, like I said, got their butts kicked the way they did, and they have to try to find a way to come back from this. And when we get to our characters the characters man all of them just you see them in the position they're in like that is the first time you've seen them vulnerable the way they were and i love it i love it where we see our characters where they are after infinity war what they're going through and what they're trying to to do to come back from this uh i love you know steve rogers trying to still keep hope uh natasha's trying to, to you know uh keep things in order and tony you know going through his uh, dramatic experience, what he went through, uh, especially with Thor, who he felt he failed, you know, to kill Thanos when he had the opportunity. And we see all these, all the other characters, you know, trying to, you know, keep it together as well. So I love it. I love how well all the characters were able to do uh, in this film and how well they play off one another, especially some of the chemistry these characters have with one another. Uh, the, the chemistry between Tony and... Uh, Captain uh, Steve Rogers, this, it, there's still a great chemistry between these two. I still love it. Uh, I still love the chemistry between uh, uh, Steve and Natasha. It's late, guys. I, I w came back home. I was tired, so I'm. if I forget things, I'm sorry. It's just I'm a little exhausted, but uh, you get the idea. The, the chemistry between these characters are all done so well, and it's you're happy with how these characters are, you know, they're trying to overcome the odds. They're trying to get hope they're trying to make sure they can reverse everything and make things better and i love it i love all these characters so much i i found no character in this film pretty much boring i didn't find any character in this film wasted i didn't find any character didn't get enough screen time they all got plenty of screen time which i was happy for and of course thanos oh man thanos still one without question one of my favorite villains of the mcu he's just so awesome he's just so like He's not like other villains. Like, he doesn't scream or he doesn't, like, get angry and stuff like that. Like, he keeps his cool He because he knows that 
it doesn't matter what you guys throw at me. I'm still going to kick your asses. I'm still going to be able to do what I did. It's inevitable. So I love that, you know, he's a step ahead of the our heroes, able to figure out what they're doing and try to find a way to stop him as well. And, man, this is just great. I, I love it. I'm glad they were able to do that. And, you know, I love Tony. I love uh, Steve. I love everyone here. They're all great characters. I found no f- problems with them. Uh, special effects, music, just and just visually, how is, how is the film? Music awesome. Play, they play the music around the uh, best of times for the film to use for the right moment. Uh, the action scenes, awesome. I love it, especially when we get to the finale. Just, oh my god, we got all excited. We all start clapping. Just so cool. It's just, yeah, I, I, yeah. The nerd in me was very happy with that. It was so cool to see those fight, the fight scenes. Um, everything else visually looks beautiful. Looks amazing. I'm very happy with how it went. So I had no problem with anything at all. I mean, honestly, this feels like a perfect film. I'm sure when I go back and see it, I'm going to find, wait a minute, there are some flaws here and there. There are some minor flaws, but it's, especially with the story, there are some stuff in the story that are a little complicated, but it's still fine. It's still a great story, and it's told it so well. So I love the story. I love the characters. I love everything else. So Avengers Endgame. Is it the best film of the MCU? In my opinion, it is. I don't know if anyone else has a different opinion about that, but to me, it is the best film of the MCU. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the next phase is. I don't know what they're going to do now after this because uh, some of these characters ain't coming back. So, sorry, spoilers, but I mean, contract, uh, contractually, uh, contract, are they coming back? It's probably not going to happen, but still, maybe a cameo here and there. So, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion, so, if you want to see the film, go right ahead. I do recommend it. Take it with your loved ones. Take it with your friends. Take it with your family. Go ahead, guys. It is worth it. So, that's it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this film, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my Facebook page. Check out my Twitter page. And I will see you all next time to give you more love and more entertainment. I'm definitely going to go see the film back. And anybody who's going to be checking out the McAllen uh, Convention Center for South Texas Comic Con, I will see you guys there. Uh, for the Wrestling Revolution, and we're going to be there, guys, all day today, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time to give you more love and more entertainment.